Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going to go through lead code problem 1539, case missing positive number. Let's take a look at the problem description first. Given an array, array of positive integers sorted in strictly increasing order and an integer k, find the kth positive integer that is missing from the array. All right, let's take a look what are the possible test cases. First one is given this one, 2, 3, 4, 7, 11. K is 5. That's asking us to find the fifth missing positive integer. Why the output is 9? That is because, let's see, the missing positive integers are all of these. 1. We're missing 1. So that means we are expecting the given integer should be starting from the first positive integer, which is 1. Okay, so we're missing 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 is missing. 6 is missing. 7 is there. So 8 is, eight is missing. 9 is missing. 10 is missing. 11 is there. So, so far, how many did we get? We get all of these is six. So it's asking us for the fifth missing number. So that is the nine. This is the fifth missing number. That's why it's returning nine. This is the first test case. The second one is this, one, two, three, four. And it's asking us for return to return the second missing number, k equals to two. And it's returning six because the missing positive integers are starting from five because one, two, three, four, all of these first four positive integers are there. So the first one missing is five, second one is six. That's why it's returning six. So this is labeled as a very easy problem, but I thought it's interesting to, to discover different um, test cases and multiple different solutions. First solution is that we can use a, it's not very efficient, we can use a hash set, we can put all of the numbers into a hash set. We can start from one all the way up to the max number and to see if there is anyone missing. And if the missing, if the number of missing numbers adds up to the total number of K, and then we can just return that number. If that is not the case, we can continue to add up until we find the case missing number. That's one way. Time complexity of that one is going to be ON. Space complexity is not O1, that's ON because we are using an extra hash set. Um, which is going to consume space of O n. So that's not super ideal. Another way is that we can use constant memory, constant extra memory, which is O one, and then we'll just loop through this array once, and then we can just return the correct answer. Apparently that one is more ideal, so we're going to type that one. But before we type, we would like to sort out all of the possible test cases. Um, they list out to two. So let's think about all of the possible test cases. So these are the constraints. So there's a total of only up to 1000 integers and the K is up to 1000 as well. So given these two constraints, there are multiple even very brute force ways to solve this. But I'd like to make this solution very generic. Even these two constraints don't exist. So let's talk about the uh, possible test cases. So test case, uh, let's just call it case one, which is, uh, let's say array is one, two, three, and K equals to two. In this case, the result should be four, five. It should be returning five, right? This is the first test case. The second test case is, let's say, um, the actual, the given array is three, four, five three, four, five, and K is two. In this case, we're missing the first two, one, two, so the result should be two. And what are the other cases? The other cases say that is something in the middle, something in the middle. Let's see, three, four, five, uh, let's put in nine here. And in this case, K, we can put K to be three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So in this case, the result should be six. These are the three possible cases that we need to take care of. So let's go through the constant extra memory solution. Well, we'll see. So first we'll use a variable called missed. Say how many missed um, variables, how many missed numbers are there that we need to add up now. And then we'll have a for loop to go through this given input array. Int i equals to zero, i smaller than array length, I plus plus. Uh, next is if, just in case, if this is the very first one, which means it's in this case, test case two. If, so this one is a special, a special handle. So, so three cases, that means we need to have at least three branches. One branch is outside of this for loop, which takes care of the last one. 
uh, let's take a look. So if this is the first one, which means it's this case, and the first one we want to handle this case array. Okay, if i equals zero and everything else, if let's we we'll just add it up missed so how many possible numbers are there that's going to be missed let's just uh, use the first number minus one so we're expecting the first number in the given input it should be one right so like saying this is correct this is the so the first number is not missing if that if it's not one that means we're missing at least one number there which is one right so for example this case this three, the first number in the given input is three. That means we're missing two numbers. Three minus one is two. We're missing two numbers here. That's why we used array, the first one minus one. That means how many numbers are missing? So in this case, it's going to be missed is zero. We're not missing any number in this case, right? But just in case if this these later two cases, what we want to do is we want to add up the missed number and we want to test if missed number is greater than or equal to k in that case what can we do we can just return we can just return k right so for example which is this case three four five k is to two k is two and missed is three the first number is three three minus one is two so missed is two at this moment so two is greater than or equal to two then we can just return k k is two in this case which is correct right so we we need to handle this case in all other cases that's totally fine so we'll just continue we'll let i to increment and then here we'll also do something very similar we'll just calculate how many positive integers are missing between this one and the last one so what we want to do is we want to use since this is a sorted array in strictly increasing order meaning there's no duplicate and everyone is in sorted increasing order ascending so what we can do is that we can use four minus three so we all use we always use this one the one that we are currently iterating on to subtract the one prior to this so what we can do is we we'll use array i minus array i minus one and minus one so that means so say this one between these two numbers there are, there are no missing numbers right so what we are expecting is four minus three is one so one that's why we need to decrement one again that means there's no missing number right in between these two numbers right but just in case if it's something like this so nine and between five and nine so nine minus five is four so four minus one again that is three are we missing three numbers so six seven eight right when we're, we're missing three numbers so that that means this formula is correct all right and after we calculate missed in this case we want to do if missed is greater than or equal to k if that is the case that means the case missing positive number is within this range is within this range right for example it's just this case the third missing number is within this range if that is the case we can just find it there so let's first return the missing number the missed number back to its previous one and then let's use let's initialize a variable just call it result and this one should be the one prior to that and then we can just keep incrementing missed until missed number equals to k that means this is the k missed number and this is the we can keep incrementing result while we increment missed right and and when the for loop doesn't hold anymore we can just break out because that's the case missing number that we need to return so we'll just return result okay all right now we have finished iterating through this given for loop this given input array is that all no there's one more case that we need to handle which is this is the for loop okay which is this case right so if like say one two three all of the first three numbers they are all there we're not missing anything so missed in this case is still zero but the k is two so missed is still way less than k so in that case we need to find the numbers that's beyond the given input array's range so what we'll also use a result in that case that's going to be the last number 
because we're given the input array that's guaranteed in strictly increasing order. So we're going to use the last one as the starting point. And while we can just copy this, that's it. We can just return, copy this and return. Oops. The format doesn't look great. Let me do this. All right. This is this is exactly what we need to return the correct result. Let me just run the code quickly to see if it works. Judging accepted. All right. Now let me just hit submit and see. All right. Uh, also accepted. And uh, this is one of the solutions to, um, that we can use. This is just going through this array once O N and we don't use any extra memory. Of course, you can use a hash set, but it's a different way. And it's using oh, an extra memory, which is really not needed. So these are the three different cases that we need to think of before we can solve this problem. I hope this video helps people understand this problem. If that is the case, please do me a favor and smash the like button. I really appreciate it. That's going to help me out tremendously. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I have accumulated quite a lot of lead code or algorithm or data structures or Amazon Web Services tutorials here on this channel and also please let me know how you guys uh, solve this problem just comment down in the comment section I really appreciate it so hopefully I'll just see you guys in a short few seconds in other videos thanks for watching